Hi, I'm Bob Ross, and for the next 13 weeks, I'll be your host as we experience the joy of painting. I think each of us, sometime during our life, has wanted to paint a picture. I think there's an artist hid in the bottom of every single one of us. And here we will try to show you how to bring that artist out, to put it on canvas, because you too can paint almighty pictures. You know, we have avoided painting for so long because I think all of our lives we've been told that you have to go to school half your life, maybe even have to be blessed by Michelangelo at birth to ever be able to paint a picture. And here we want to show you that that's not true, that you can paint a picture right along with us. Each week we'll use the same colors, we'll use the same equipment. So if you have your brush and palette ready next week, you can paint right along with us. I'd like to go over some of the equipment that we'll use before we start. The brushes that we use, I'll be using very large two and a half inch and one inch natural bristle brushes. Now these are natural bristle. Be sure you, you don't start with a nylon brush. We'll use an almighty palette knife. And this is much different than the traditional palette knife. It is not thin and flimsy. It's a firm palette knife. And with this, we can make fantastic things happen. Let's go over the colors that we'll use. We're going to start out here with titanium white, phthalo green, Prussian blue, Van Dyke brown, alizarin crimson, sap green, cad yellow, and permanent red. Now, these eight colors we'll use each and every week for every picture that we do. So you don't have to go out and buy 1,500 different kinds of colors and brushes. You need very little equipment to paint with this. Another thing, we'll do no tracing of patterns on here. We start with a vision in our heart, and we put it on canvas. And we're here to teach you to be able to do this too. So let's do it. Let's paint a picture right here. And we're going to start with a big brush, and we're going to cover the canvas with a thin layer of magic white. Now this is a wet on wet technique, so the first thing we're going to do is get the canvas wet. And all we want is a nice, even, thin coat of paint here. There we go. Just cover it nice and even. You also need an almighty easel when you're doing this. You need an easel that will hold your canvas very firm and allow you to use these big brushes. Okay. When you're using a large brush like this, it really doesn't take too long to cover your canvas. And if you get a hair like that, just pop it off with a corner of your brush, flip it away. Okay. Now, after you get your canvas covered with the Magic White, we'll take and make long strokes back and forth to get a nice, even distribution of paint on here. Okay. Up and down one time. That assures that the magic white's nice and even all the way across the canvas. Okay, let's wash the brush out here. Now we wash our brushes with odorless paint thinner. Okay, we'll wash them out. And I beat the brush just to dry the bristles. Now let's take a little bit of cad yellow here. And I think today we'll do a picture that's maybe like we're walking through the woods. And so let's start right here with a little bit of cad yellow with just the least little touch of phthalo green in it. And we'll add a little bit more of the green color and we'll begin making little X's. Just like so. Just work that around. Okay. Now, without cleaning the brush, I'm going to go right into some Prussian blue. Just add it right onto the brush here. Just go out here, and we're making little crisscross strokes, little X strokes. There. Already, we begin to, to have a light source in this painting. Okay, I'm going to clean the brush again. Once again, this is odorless paint thinner. We do not use turpentine. Now, with a nice clean brush, I'm going to take and add just a little bit of titanium white right here in the center. 
just a little. And we'll begin working outward. There. By now, maybe you have recognized some of the equipment we're using as something you've seen before. And I learned this fantastic technique from a wonderful man that I think all of us had enjoyed for many, many years on TV, Bill Alexander. And Bill taught me this many years ago, and it is the most fantastic way to paint that you've ever seen. So join us. Have some fun. And we'll just blend this out a little bit more here. Until we have a nice, smooth sky. There we go. Okay, we'll clean the brush one more time. Now, let's start putting in some, let's put in some almighty trees here. We're going to start with a little bit of alizarin crimson and a touch of Prussian blue. Now, the Prussian blue is a hundred times stronger than the crimson. So use just a little blue and a lot of crimson. And here we're going to begin pushing in basic tree shapes. So just bend the brush. Bend the brush. Make those little leaves and branches just pop right out at you. There he comes. These little son of a guns hide in your brush and you just have to push him out. This is your world, your creation. Let's put a little one right here. And maybe we'll just put some little grassy areas coming down through here. And right there, there's one. Now you're pushing quite firm here. This is why I say you need an almighty easel when you're doing this, an easel that's strong. Okay. Maybe over here on this side now, we'll add another one, maybe a bigger one over here. There he is. And there's no secret to this. Anybody can paint. Anybody can paint. All you need is a dream in your heart, a little practice. Look at there. Already, we have the beginning of a beautiful picture. We have the tree shapes, a light source. Looks to me like it's early in the morning. Okay. Now, let's put some trunks in these trees. And for that, we'll take a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. And let's just lay in some basic trunks here. There we go. And maybe we'll put a little limb right here, like so. Maybe some little something right there. There we are. Okay. Now this little fellow over here, he needs a trunk too. So we'll put one right in here. Maybe some limbs up in here. Right through here. There we go. Just some indications here and there. And some little sticks and twigs. Okay, maybe over in here. There we are. Okay. Now we'll highlight these. And we'll take a little bit of white and a touch of brown mixed together. And remember where your light source is. So this tree will highlight right here. Like so. There we are. Now over on this side, the light's coming through here, so we'll highlight this side.